welcome back to my channel. So I'm getting over a little cold, so my voice will be a little bit different. Other than that, Q2 is just around the corner and I wanted to try something new on my channel. I've been seeing a lot of these plan with me videos and I thought I might do my own version. I feel like these videos will also keep me accountable and kind of update you every single month. And you can also learn my process in planning. So I'll be going through my goals for Q2. I will be sharing my updates on my planner um, and the new content planning app that I've been using and my notion and how I'm going to use it. Today's video might be a little bit longer than my usual video because I kind of want to explain things from Q1 changing it to Q2. But yeah, let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been to my channel, welcome. My name is Holly from Life with Holly Lifestyles. I'm so excited to share with you my love as an entrepreneur and my tips and tricks for business. I also share a lot of desk, tech, and lifestyle videos and productivity videos such as this one. So if you're interested in any of that or all of that, make sure you're subscribed. And without further ado, let's get into my plan with me for April. So in my last vlog, I shared my reflection of my Q1 goals, and I also shared that I um, upgraded to a bigger planner. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'll make sure to link it up in the cards up above and down below. But I went from a half letter dismount into this classic happy planner, which is a size up. It is still smaller than a letter size, but it still fits in most of my purses, and I absolutely love it. I have to say, I've always been a weekly planning girly, but this time around, I've been using the daily pages. My shop Point Hunt recently released these daily pages, two days on one page with no um, schedule because I'm not really a schedule person. I usually have that on my Google Calendar and I've been having more space to write in and I can write down everything that I basically need to do. A lot of the times my planning consists a lot of filming or editing, so having those kind of list out is really, really good. So this is how it looks, and I've been absolutely loving using this. I've also been trying to um, have a social media page, which I haven't even done and used yet, so I need to get back into that and kind of figure out if I still need this in this planner. So what I love about doing these types of videos so I can kind of share where I'm at with my planner and then next month if anything changes or if anything moves, that's really, really cool to be able to show you instead of me just showing you um, once in a while when I do a vlog. So that's one of the reasons why I love doing this, but I have been loving the size um, and I'm using the 0 0.5 so I make sure my planners are more compact. They're definitely my style. Uh, a lot of people like to keep it super packed but for me I like it compact but I've been loving using um, the two days on one page with no schedule so I flipped the camera around to show you see as you see here I started um, in the mid March beginning of March and I've been loving it because I can kind of write down everything that I'm working on um, I have my to do's on one side and then there's just more space for me to write everything down so this also works for um, tech with hollies not just for life with Holly lifestyles I have been doing a lot of more tech with all the videos so that's why there's a lot of that so now that I filmed it on this date um, I can have a section for editing and I don't really use it like strictly daily like sometimes I would um, have so for example this is March 18 and then for 1920 kind of mix them together depending on the day um, but I've been loving using this as my um, kind of like weekly planner instead by using daily planning um, and kind of mix it together instead of using a full weekly sometimes um, I just feel like there's too much space and now that I can just list out all the things I need to do it's been doing a lot better so that is a little peak of my planner for this month and I'll be continue using this for April, which I am absolutely loving. So now we're in the goal planning section and we're gonna talk about a little bit about my Q2 goals, um, whether it's for personal or even for content creation. So I created this Notion template that I am offering for free. I'll link the video with the 2024 goal planning or you can go straight to my email list to grab it for free. I'll make sure to link that down below for you to check out. In my last vlog, I did talk about my Q1 goals and now we're gonna talk about our Q2 
new goals. So this is what we have here. We have some home goals, some work goals. So first off, I want to talk about is working out. Um, in Q1, I did start working out. Um, it's more like two to three times a week, depending. And then one out of the three is not really like intensive workouts, just like a mini workout. So I do hope that in Q2, I will actually work out for three times a week. So work out on co-pilot. I did mention in my last video that I started this kind of like personal training online kind of thing called a co-pilot. So I've been loving it. You get to talk to your um, coach any time of the day and basically they just kind of keep you accountable and then they kind of change your moves and your um, workout based on what you're feeling and if you want to do something different like for example if, you, if I had my period I can ask for more like stretches instead of a full-on workout kind of stuff like that is really really good um, I'll make sure to link that down below if you're interested other things we have is the home stuff is clean out the garage and then we have this finish the patio section so I'm gonna add a little note section here so that I can um, kind of reference it if I need to. So for the cleaning out the garage, I think it'd be something like a May thing because I know April is gonna be super busy with traveling for work, um, just catching up in general, spring cleaning and stuff like that. So I think May would be perfect for that. And then the finish the patio is not really my thing. It's kind of the hubby and his dad's thing. So um, other than that, it's kind of like getting furniture, um, just cleaning out the area and decorating so that's kind of my task which I think will be probably be more in June and then for the work stuff is my online courses so it looks like I have finished online courses but that's just one big task in general um, which I don't think is probably Q4 would be my goal to finish all my courses I did not do any courses during Q1 because I've just been trying to get into things so I'm going to be focusing that um, for Q2. So one, I want to do two courses. One would be maybe like a fun course and then the other one would be more of like helping my content creation. So I do have a course for content creation. So I want to do that one and then maybe finish off, which I started my um, a drawing class. So I want to do that drawing course also. So that's going to be something I'm going to work on um, and start implementing that in my kind of like morning routine. And it looks like last but not least is new videos for Tech with Holly, which I have been doing in Q1, which I am gonna, which I will be chatting more about this with you in a little bit because I'm just having some weird confusions about that. Um, but yeah, so it looks like things are pretty good. Um, so now that I see everything at a glance, I can actually start doing it. I'm also going to move this meal prep to Q2 too, since we haven't really done that. We have been like planning our meals better, which is good. Um, but to meal prep and plan healthier hasn't really been our priority. So maybe Q2 would be that. So yeah. So let's talk Tech with Holly. If you haven't been watching my videos, you know that I started Tech with Holly because in the beginning, I realized that Life with Holly Lifestyles on TikTok was basically kind of hard to do anything that is US-based because when I made this TikTok account, I was in Canada at the time. That way, I wasn't able to have any creator fun. I wasn't able to um, do anything TikTok shop related and I've been seeing a lot of emails that are heavily related to that. So that is why I decided that I would start a new channel and kind of change things up a little bit, try to do more tech and content creation tips, which is why I started Tech with Holly. But when January rolled in, I was kind of confused. I was doing it just for more opportunities and more money, which wasn't really the thing that I wanted to do. I absolutely love content creation for what it is and I have had the um, privilege to be able to do whatever I want. Um, since I do have my own small business, I'm able to just do this on the side as a side hustle and just do it for fun. And thinking about it was kind of confusing because I felt like I was just doing it because I wanted um, more money, more opportunities, but sometimes I feel like that isn't really the case. So when January rolled along, I decided that I'm just going to try it out and see how it goes. Um, I based it more off of content creation tips. 
um, and a little bit of tech videos because tech videos are kind of hard to do because you have to buy a lot of tech products and that's a lot of money. So I did more content creation things. I asked people to comment on the videos and kind of ask their content creation tips and I definitely had fun doing that and have helped a lot of people along the way. But now that Q1 is over and I kind of did my kind of tests on it, I have to sit down and kind of think, do I still want to do this? I feel like there's a lot more potential at Life with Holly Lifestyles where I can um, do more digital planning stuff. I can share more Notion templates and stuff like that and make money other ways and those are things that I'm more passionate about so that's kind of where I'm at with a tech with Holly. I gotta sit down and kind of think about what I want to do for Q2 for tech with Holly if I want to continue it, um, scrap it or even change it up a little bit. I do enjoy a lot of the tech creators that share their life as a content creator so maybe I might change it to a vlogging kind of channel um, but I'm not sure yet. If you have any suggestions or anything feel free to let me know down below. I'm not sure if you follow me on on both channels but if you do I would love to hear your feedback but yeah that's a little talk about um, tech with Holly and I don't know what I want to do with it so um, we'll see how that goes so in my last vlog I did mention that I am trying out this new content planner app called Rella and I did dabble in it this month just to kind of test it out and kind of um, see how I like it. So my goal for Q2 is to just dabble right into it. I'm going to be fully strictly on it and see how it goes. And then I'm going to switch my notion to do more of my personal stuff, which I will do um, this month. And then I'll share with you next month. I do want to track more things such as like travel stuff, reading um, and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy because I know I won't focus on it too, too much, but it's good to have those kind of core things for me to look at that I absolutely um, want to track. So let's get into Rella and see what I'm gonna plan for April. Okay, so here is this week's of um, my Rella. I do have to start planning for next month, which I do have only a couple videos ready and I have maybe three kind of ideas of YouTube ready to go. Um, I did add some of the YouTube um, ideas I had in my Notion over here, so you can see it down here. Um, I haven't scheduled it out because I wanna see when I wanna do them. I did schedule some out right here. So this is the monthly view. Um, I have my April plan for me, with the, which is this video that you're watching. And then I have a desk accessory must-haves and my budget-friendly desk setup, which I think is pretty set for the next two weeks. Um, and then I have these videos, which I kind of need to see depending on, um, so for example, my gaming and streaming desk setup I want to share, but I have to start streaming first and make sure everything works and then I can actually um, share with you guys. So that is why it hasn't had a date yet. Um, and then yeah, so stuff like that. Um, I did start this week to actually start this. So now I have my um, film and edit plan with me, which is this video here. So now I'm filming it. So I'm just going to check that off and then you can kind of see it here. So I'm going to definitely be using this more for like days that I know I need to film. And then in my planner, I will write down what videos I am filming because sometimes I try to batch videos. I don't film once a day. Um, I usually film multiple videos at once, but obviously it depends. Sometimes I do film one video a day. Um, depending on the content and the lighting and everything like that. Um, so there is that. So I did put my Notion stuff over here so I can see it all at a glance, see how it looks, see if I like it or not. There are definitely things I hope they will change in the future or add in the future. Um, so I'm kind of like collecting that data and kind of seeing if I can either send an email to them or just let them know. Um, I know they always take feedback, which is really, really good for an app like this because asking content creators how they want this app is actually very, very smart. It just really, really improves the app a lot. I tried using it like six months ago and it was really, really basic at the time. And I tried it again this month. I definitely see a really, really big change since then. So I'm just gonna repurpose this video here because I know I will be doing it um, for both platforms on Instagram and TikTok. Usually I do that 
um, three times a week. I have three videos for Instagram and then it just goes on to TikTok and then I have every single day I do a TikTok video. So I usually slip that in with some other PR packages. I slip it in with some like clean with me videos, something super simple. I usually use my phone for those videos and then for Instagram videos, I do use my camera, which is the camera um, you're watching from now. So that is basically a little overview of how I'm planning to use this and I'm gonna use this fully for the next three months to kind of test it out. I'll probably have to not use Notion for three months because if I try doing it back and forth, I'll just end up using Notion and then I will just not use this at all. So I have to commit and use this for three months and see how it goes. And I'll update you along the way monthly as I do these plan with me videos. But yeah, I'm actually pretty excited to use this. There are definitely going to be some um, good things and bad things about it, but I would definitely tell you along the way and hopefully they will change in the future. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's video. So next week I'll be sharing with you my updated Notion more for home projects and things that I want to track. And then I'll update you on one month of using Rella and see how that goes. I'm actually super excited to see how that goes. And also do a little update of my planner if I'm still using the daily um, sheets or if I change things up and kind of give you an update on that. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and comment down below any other videos you would like to see. And don't forget to follow me at Life with Holly Lifestyles on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!